Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Before we start this amazing, fun, The Greatest Showman time lapse, I wanted to talk to you guys about my new favorite art app. And now, this is an artist app, and it's called Art Amino, and I absolutely love it. I just wanted to tell you guys about it because I feel as an art, as a bunch of artists, we should stick to a community and we should be there to support each other. I really love Art Mino and I love posting on it and I do love the community because they have a bunch of awesome features such as super chat and you can chat chat with other artists and talk to them and you can get critiques and advice on art there's all these categories that you can go and search and you can search each different medium on there it is just an art explosion and i just find it absolutely fun to be on and they've got tons and tons of features they've got the latest feed on who has posted most recently and then they have their main page where they have featured artists and featured works of art and you can go and check that out and find new artists to follow and if you do have an art amino make sure you go or you create an account make sure you go and comment on that pt barnum picture I just posted and go and say I saw your video that way I can follow you guys because I don't really follow that many people on Art Amino so I need to follow people and I need to go look at your art so go create an art account on Art Amino and I will go follow you just make sure you post on the PT Barnum picture hey I watched your video all right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. So I've been wanting to do this idea for a while, and especially since uh, The Greatest Showman, the music's everywhere. If you guys have not heard a song from The Greatest Showman yet, I, I don't know how you have possibly escaped that <laughs> route of not hearing about The Greatest Showman yet. Even if you watched the Oscars this past year, then you saw that they performed This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. It is an amazing movie, and I love it so much. I saw it four times in theater. <laughs> Three times was normal times, and then one time was a sing-along time, and I went with a bunch of friends, and man, we sounded good. Do you Have you ever been to a sing-along movie theater showing of a movie yet? If you have not done a sing-along, whatever the next Disney movie is that is a musical, go to a sing-along. If they offer it as a sing-along, I think Moana had a sing-along, but I went and saw The Greatest Showman sing-along and man, we could have been in the movie. We, we were awesome. We were really, really good singers, all of us. So it was just really surprising to be in a movie theater full of people that could actually sing well. <laughs> I mean, I knew my friends that I went with, we, saw, we sounded great. <laughs> Anyways, so I love The Greatest Showman and my day was made last Friday when I, I didn't know that you could purchase the Greatest Showman on Amazon video. So when my boss was kind of telling me, um, you can buy it now and watch it. And I thought, <laughs> no, you gotta wait for the DVD. There's no chance it's out yet. And then I jump on Amazon and there it is. And I went, oh my goodness, I can't wait. I've got to watch this movie again. So I immediately bought it. Didn't know if it was on my credit card or not. <laughs> But yes, so let's talk about these drawings. I wanted to do busts of them. You know the busts of the singing busts in the graveyard at the Haunted Mansion? That's what I wanted to do with each character. I wanted to draw every single one of these characters. My five favorite characters. So I only drew like the five main characters and five my five favorite characters which are Letty, Charity, and Philip, and of course PT. So I wanted to draw those five together because I feel like they were the most strongest characters throughout the whole movie and we got to see more of their lives. So I really, I really like this movie because it is humbling and you can see where PT started off as and it's just like he was just this low person and he was hitting rock bottom on so many situations and if you watch the movie you know what I'm talking about I'm not going to give any spoilers but you see how many times PT hits rock bottom and he just keeps going with a little encouragement from friends he keeps going and that's initially what makes him successful and I think that's really important when it comes to art as well you know you and me we're artists, right? So sometimes we hit rock bottom in our art careers as in we don't know how to keep going or we hit an art block and we just are very uninspired or we're just not creating as well as we hope we'd be right now in our lives. But the thing is, you just, I'll say over and over and over again, you just gotta keep going and one day an idea is just gonna hit you right in the face and you're gonna go, oi, this really makes sense. And that's how I really felt on a level with P.T. Barnum in the movie. I just felt like he was 
always discouraged, but he, he just had those sparks of creativity hit. So there you go, a little motivational speech from The Greatest Showman and myself about, you know, it's just not show business, it's art too. It is an art to keep going and to keep moving forward. <laughs> but anyway, so let's talk about this drawing. I used my sepia tone micron and blue collar race to sketch everything out. I used my sepia tone micron pens to line everything, but I also went ahead and sketched everything out with my blue collar race pencil and and I went ahead and I filled everything in with Copic markers. And maybe you're wondering this too, if you're watching me, have you ever seen people use blue or purple shadows on skins to give them a shadow as opposed to just going super dark? I love that technique where I use either a cool shadow Copic marker or a very, 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 very light purple. It's like BV000 that I use for shadows on all my characters. Um, it depends on what I'm using. I didn't want to use blues. I think purple would have been nicer just because we're in the circus and I see a lot of more purple shadows than opposed to blue shadows. So that's what I wanted to use on my characters. And I don't know if you've ever noticed it before, but I think a lot of artists do use blue as shadows as opposed to using gray shadows or tan shadows on skins. But yes, it's just, it's a very interesting alternative. And oh my gosh, I messed up Letty's eyes so bad. And <laughs> I had to go back and go over and over and over it just because I'm looking at it right now. But yes, that is a huge tip I would give you is to go ahead and buy like a super light, I think it's like B10. Yes, it's BG10, which is a cool shadow. And then BV00, which is a light purple. So that would be really awesome and fun for you guys to experiment with who have alcohol. If you have records. seen The Greatest Showman, leave in the comments down below your favorite song. My favorite song is from From Now On. So leave in the comments below. I want to know if you've seen it and what's your favorite song. I'll see y'all later. Bye!